All right, so this morning, Global got a brand new data download, and as always, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. Now, this is gonna be a very quick video because there really wasn't too much, you know, in this data download. We mainly just got the assets for the upcoming LR Super 17, which by the way, is releasing quite a bit earlier than I thought. I thought it was gonna be in about two days after the Dokkan now, but it's actually coming out tonight, guys. Okay, so as you can see on DBZ Space, it says 11.30 p.m. Pacific time on the 19th, which is obviously today. So tonight for some people, if you're on the East Coast, like myself, and it's gonna be at 2.30 a.m. on the 20th. So uh, yeah, regardless of your time zone, we're gonna be live at that time doing some summons. So if you guys are gonna be available at that time or awake at that time, then definitely try your best to tune in. And hopefully we can get this guy within, you know, a couple hundred stones, cause I really don't wanna spend that much for him. Cause this dude is actually like the ultimate bait for a couple reasons. Okay, number one, especially for global players, uh, we got the sixth anniversary coming in less than two months okay almost um, exactly a month and a half from now and i mean let's just be honest the lrmui goku and the, and the super saiyan blue evolution vegeta are just way better than super 17 so yeah that's one one reason why this is i think a massive bait but the other reason is that in about like five days from now we're getting update 4.16.0 which should be introducing the um, you know, summon coin exchange in the Baba shop where we can actually uh, like exchange useless SSRs, like rainbow SSRs for summon coins, red coins, gold coins, and blue coins, right? So if you summon for this guy like tonight or within the next couple of days before the update, then the extra SSRs you pull can't actually be exchanged. But if you wait until the update comes and we get that new feature, then you can actually get some extra coins by exchanging those SSRs. So basically what I'm trying to say is if you guys can hold off, you guys can wait for a bit. And obviously if you plan to summon for Super 17, then wait a few days until update 4.16.0 comes out. I believe it's going to be dropping on either the 24th or the 25th. And at that time, you can do some summons and, uh, you know, hopefully pull this guy. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much the data download. We're going to pop over to... Um, Proton10MG's page here, as always, big shout out to him, make sure to follow him if you aren't already doing so, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, we got some assets for Super 17 here, we got his SSR art, as well as his TUR, and then we also have a quick change to AGL Super 17, the Extreme Z Awakened Ones, uh, Super Attack name, so apparently before... Uh, the update, the data download, it used to be called Shocking Death Ball, and now it's called Electro Eclipse Bomb, which I think is in line with the uh, new LR. So there you go, not really a significant change, but maybe something people wanted to know. And that's your data download, guys. Super 17 drop in tonight at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time some other time for other people in other time zones around the world and uh, i'll see you guys there now just in case anybody missed yesterday's video yesterday's doka now program i will quickly go over the details for the super 17 if you guys already know what he does then feel free to just leave the video now okay so starting with this leader skill it's gt bosses or androids category key plus four hp attack and defense plus 150 percent Super attack raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers defense. And uh, his ultra super is uh, class mega colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional attack and defense plus 17% per androids category ally self excluded attacking in the same turn plus an additional attack and defense plus 17% per target Goku category ally self excluded attacking in the same turn. Reduces damage received by 17% plus an additional attack plus 17% for 3 turns after the turn in which an attack was received and high chance of heat plus 1 with each attack received of 2 plus 7. And then his active skill 
is Electro Eclipse Bomb, which causes ultimate damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense by 17% for one turn. And his uh, activation condition for the active skill is you have to receive seven or more attacks in battle, which once again, as a lot of people have said, as I've, as I've said a lot, it is quite a bit, you know, like that's a lot of hits. Um, obviously in LGE, uh, you know, Infinite Dragon Ball History, um, even Super Battle Road, sometime, sometimes you will be able to get those seven hits, but I don't know, I just don't like it, man. It's just a lot of hits. It's not gonna be something you see a lot outside of those specific events that I mentioned, right? But uh, yeah, Lynx, Android Assault, uh, Fear and Faith, Fuse Fighter, Nightmare GT, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and categories are Androids, Artificial Life Forms, Target Goku, Inhuman Deeds, Power Absorption, and GT Bosses. And of course, his additional attack plus 17% is calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack plus 295.46% when all conditions are met. So needless to say, this guy can and hit really hard, but his design is kind of weird as a lot of people have already pointed out because he is right now the best GT bosses lead, but he's really meant to be run on an Android's team, right? Because on an Android's team, you can have I think nearly a full team or maybe just a full team of units that are in both androids and target Goku, um, which obviously is something you can't really do for just the GT bosses team alone. And um, you know, you can, you can also give him better linking partners on an androids team as well compared to a GT bosses team. So the way I kind of see him is like, he's still really supposed to be run on androids, uh, even though he is the best GT bosses category lead at the moment, he's kind of a filler. He's kind of like a kind of like a stopgap until we get, you know, another baby or Omega Shenron in the future who becomes like the real GT bosses lead, you know. So, um, yeah, like I I definitely think that he could have been made better, but I think he's still a good unit. So we'll be summoning for him once again, 2:30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, 11:30 p.m. Pacific time, and remember. We're getting that update on Global very soon, okay? So, if you can hold out, if you can just wait like 4 or 5 days and uh, wait for 4.16.0, then you will definitely get a lot more value out of your summons when you get those like extra SSRs you can exchange for uh, gacha coins, right? So, that's just my opinion, that's just my uh, advice. Take it if you want, don't take it if you don't want to, totally up to you. And that's gonna be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to my boy, Proton10MG, as always, for hosting these assets. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Okay, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. That's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.